Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about variables in less. So basically, a variable allows you to give a name to a value or even a piece of text within your less code. And this also allows you to reuse this variable or this name throughout your entire file for consistent, um, I guess, value assignment. And it also makes your code a lot easier to maintain and also change in the future. So let's just see how this thing works with an example. So for example, let's just say I have a header and I want the header to have a height of something like 65 pixels. Okay. Now I've also got a logo, which I want to be the same height as the header at all times. What I can do is say, okay, select the logo and give it a height of 65 pixels also. Now this will work the same height. However, if one day I want to come back in here and actually change the value of this height, I can of course say, okay, give the header a height of 75 pixels and also the same thing for the logo. But that means I have to change this value twice. And if you have, for example, a hundred heights in your code, it's going to take a long time to actually go in there and change the height all those hundreds of times. All right? So what you can do with less is actually assign the height to a variable. Okay. And that means you can only have to actually, um, you know, assign that value once and it will update across the entire file. So to achieve this, what you can do is above your um, header selector up here, you can actually create or assign a value to a variable. Okay, so to actually create a variable, you can do it like this. You put an at sign followed by the name of the variable. Let's just say for this case, the variable name will be height. Okay, so the variable is called height. Now to give this variable a, a value, you can do so by putting a colon and then entering your value. For example, Let's say it'll be 65 pixels. Okay. That is now done. Right. So now I can use this variable within my code however I like. So if I was to go back inside here and get rid of this 75 and instead I'm going to put down an at sign and then say height. Okay. That right there is the exact same as just saying height is going to be 65 pixels. Okay. You're replacing the value with a variable name and that variable name has the value of 65. All right. I can do the same thing for the logo height. Let's put that inside there. Okay. So now if I was to save this and then compile this less, we actually get in the master CSS file, we get header, height of 65, logo, height of 65. Perfect. So now you can see how we have assigned the value once and we've used it multiple times without reassigning it. If I was to change this to 75, okay, I can save this and then once again compile this less. This time we see 75 in the output. So you can see how it's useful. Now, you can even do basic maths with these variables. Okay, so for example, let's just say we have a height of 75 and we also want a smaller height of the current height minus about 10 pixels. What we can do is we can make a new variable down here and call this one smaller. Now the variable smaller will be equal to the height minus 10 pixels. So we're going to say, okay, smaller equal to height. All right. Minus 10 PX. So now we have a new variable to work with smaller. So now I can assign logo with a height of smaller. And that'll be the height minus 10 pixels. In this case, it's going to be 75 minus 10 pixels. Let's just save this and compile. In the output, we get 65 right there. And this is clearly useful because 
it's controlled by the height. If I was to make this height instead of um, 75, 85, save this and compile this, this time that change right there will give us 75. So the change is live and it's all surrounded by the actual height value. You might even do a multiplication, say height times and then put something like 0 0.8. So 80% 80 80 of 85 will be, let's find out, 68 pixels. Okay. Now with variables also, you can actually change the value of these variables depending on your scope. Now this means that if for example I have a height of 85 pixels in the outer most outermost scope, all right? Inside the header, this is now the scope of the header selector. And this means I can actually change the value of the height only within this selector or this scope. All right? For example, Let's say I have a, a height of 45 pixels within this header, okay? So now, if I was to um, make this back to the height variable, so we have height in the header and height in the logo. However, if I was to compile this, we get 45 and 85. That's because I've assigned the height within this header scope to 45, which means anything inside that scope is going to be 45, not 85. As soon as I leave this scope right here, it goes back to 85 outside here. That one right there. All right. And that is the basics of variables in less. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.